Now, the goal of Amendment 2 was to allow medical marijuana to treat other debilitating diseases that weren't covered under the previous medical marijuana law. We're talking things like Parkinson's, PTSD, epilepsy, and any other conditions determined by a patient's physician. Now, that last part, that's the part that this rule change is affecting. Now, the Department of Health wants those other conditions to be determined by the Board of Medicine, who, unlike a regular physician, they're not seeing the patients directly. That has some medical marijuana advocates furious, including a local attorney who feels the Department of Health is violating the intent of Amendment 2 and everyone who voted for it last November. It's, it's an absurd condition that the Board of Medicine is trying to do, and the only thing that they're trying to do is continue, despite the overwhelming vote, is to prevent access to our patients in the state of Florida who need it the most, who are suffering and dying. Now, I did reach out to the Department of Health yesterday for an explanation on why that rule is being changed. They tell me it is not a violation. Language in the amendment is allowing them to define rules and regulations within the first six months of 2017 until this amendment is fully implemented. Today's workshop starts at 9 a.m. here, and it is the only one being held in the Bay Area, and it's going to give these supporters a chance to let their concerns be heard and hopefully have the ear of the State Department of Health. Live this morning in Tampa, James Tully, ABC Action News.